It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. On third and long, it's Rodgers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. From the gun, it's Rodgers. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. To me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together Charles and Nate. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. Rashawn Gary credit him with a sack. And it goes as a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Ryan. Pressure too great, and he goes down once more. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Now Ryan. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. The offense.